Hi folks, reporter Roxana Lee is here with WTOL 11 News. I am in South Toledo right now where uh, Toledo Police Department and the Toledo uh, Fire and Rescue continue to search for a missing three-year-old little boy. We are in South Toledo right now where the scene is still pretty active. Some of the officers, some of the uh, fire department have left already, but I'm gonna turn things around for you guys so you guys can kind of take a look in about the area that we're in um, here. So we are at Hunter's Ridge Apartments. This is the area in South Toledo right now. As you can see, there are still several police officers on scene. This apartment right here, this L apartment, is where the missing three-year-old little boy um, went missing from. So I'm going to kind of walk in the area. Let me know if you guys cannot hear me. I'm gonna try to show you guys as much as possible from where the missing three-year-old went. Um, supposedly, uh, per police, is the mother called, um, I believe, earlier today. Toledo Police and the Fire Department have been on scene since about 1230 this afternoon, searching for a three-year-old little boy. Still very active scene here. If you guys can tell, this is where the little boy went missing from, this L building. Um, if you can tell, right in that window right there is where the mother says that the three-year-old uh, supposedly uh, came out of the window or fell out. And so um, there is a pond or some type of water area behind this building where Toledo Police and the Fire Department have been searching for hours right now. They tell me that they've been knocking on doors of all of these apartments here in the area, trying to talk to people, trying to see if they, the little boy is in any of these apartments. They have not been able to locate him just yet. They did talk about rumors that the little boy had been found. Those rumors are not true still at this moment. As you guys can tell, Toledo Police Department and fire are still on scene. Um, detectives, uh, they have some, some of the uh, fire department has left. At this point, they tried to put a boat in the water, which is behind this building. However, they say the terrain is really, really bad out there. Um, so as you guys can still see a very active scene, they said that they have knocked on pretty much all the doors in this area. There are several apartment buildings, as you guys can see. Let's see. So a few of you guys are asking if a few of you guys just tuned in right now. Uh, reporter Roxana Lee is here. I am in South Toledo where a three-year-old little boy is still missing. He is nonverbal. So Toledo police say that it is a little bit more difficult to try to search for someone who is a nonverbal. However, they have been trained for that and they are using skills to search for the little boy. This is the apartment, apartment L here in South Toledo. And if you guys can tell where I'm pointing at right there, that window right there is where the mother says the little boy fell out and, uh, you know, supposedly there is a pond behind or some type of water area behind this building where uh, Toledo police and the fire department have been searching. They've brought out search dogs. Um, they brought out a boat. They said it was very difficult though to try to put the boat in the water because of the terrain. Uh, I, I believe it's, I have not been back there, but I believe it's somewhat of a, a drop uh, down into the water area. Um, but still several police out here. Um, again, it's a three-year-old little boy. He is nonverbal, and he has. Uh, police have been here since about 12:30. Um, they're asking you to please verify information before you spread any type of rumors that he has been found. He is still missing at this point. So, um, the the uh, fire department calls this search an extraordinary search because there have been so many people on scene right now and they said that they're doing everything possible to look for this little boy and locate him. Again, um, for people just tuning in right now, three-year-old little boy, he is nonverbal, uh, still several police officers, as you guys can see, detectives, neighbors are out here searching all of these apartments in this area. 
I will be out here pretty much for the rest of the afternoon um, here at five and six o'clock. I will give you guys an update to see uh, what happens next. They have de-escalated a little bit of the search uh, just because, like I said, the terrain behind this apartment, it's very difficult to look for um, or, or try to get people down into that area. But they are saying that they are searching very much uh, all sorts of locations. They have searched the house entirely, have not found anything. And so I will continue to be out here in this area. They, uh, as an update on the mother is they have taken her to the safety building. Uh, according to Lieutenant Kelly Linhart, that is protocol. Uh, we don't know if, you know, she's in custody or anything. She's just been taken to the safety building. I cannot take off my mask. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm around a lot of people right now. So if it's difficult for you guys to hear, just let me know. I'll speak up. Um, I'm trying to be respectful to everyone, but, uh, as you guys can see again, uh, several police officers, uh, Toledo fire department and rescue out here, detectives and, um, neighbors, even just a wide search for the little three-year-old boy who is nonverbal at this moment. So, um, I will continue to stay out here, like I said, and I will give you guys another update at five and six this afternoon. And then we will continue to be here throughout the entire night to see what the updates are and, and bring those to you. So, um, I hope you guys have a, a decent afternoon. Thank you guys.